Hi, my name is Chris Snowden, and I love, I mean, I love J. Ross TV. What's up, y'all? This is your boy J. Ross hanging out with my dude, Chris, man. He in the Lou. Y'all here with Eric Darius, man. They just smashed up at the Chesterfield Amphitheater for the uh, Summer Jazz Fest, man. Hey, man, hey, if y'all know Chris, man, Chris got that flavor. You know, so when you playing, Chris, man, like, you, uh, when you grooving, the flavor that you do have, where did it come from? Did it, how did you develop that? Man, um, how did I develop? Uh, first, you know, started off in church, you know, uh, as a kid. Um, and then, man, listen to different records and diff to some of my favorite bass players. Uh, actually, they still are today, my yeah. favorite bass players. Everybody from Chicago. Your Maurice Fitzgerald, your Tony Russells, your Sheree Reed, your Swole Ray, oh. Ethan Farmer, Damo Farmer, JJ <laughs> Smith. Then you know we gotta go to Atlanta with your Trey Gilbert, your Sean Michael Rays, your Aaron Clay, your, your John Roberts, your Sam Sims, Ronnie Garrett. Then go to LA and New Jersey, you know, uh Kevin Stancil is another influence, man. So I, I listen to everybody, mm -hmm. man. So how do, and um, just listen to gospel records, listen to funk records like Gap Band, The Time, Prince, Confunction, Pleasure, um, Cameo, Parliament. <laughs> Every Parliament. So man, you know, you know, and I just just shared to records, man, and you know, and that's how you know I just develop my sound, yeah. and you know, basically have a versatility when it's time to play gospel, it's time to play gospel. When it's time to play funk and R&B, yeah. it's time to play funk and R&B and crew. Right. So out of all, your, all the people that you named, <clears throat> some of your favorite people and heroes, mm -hmm. how did you mesh all that together and come up with you? Man, you, you just you just take from just take from anybody, man, and you just uh, say, hey, I can do this, but I can put it my way, you know, because you don't want to get that sound, oh, he sound like this cat or right. he sound like That's this right. cat, you know. You know, I just take from, from everyone and kind of tweak it to, to, to my style and, and my style of playing and how I would approach it and, you know, just give it a different a different diff, different sound. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, man, but that's it, man. And, uh, shoot, I love J. Ross TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel you, dude. So, like, when you were growing up, man, and uh, you was developing your style, you know, is there anything that you can tell the young cats coming up behind you that they can practice on or either do that get them prepared to play on the main stage? Yes. Learn your music. Break that down if you Learn can. Learn your music. Learn the record. Study the record. Know what you're about to play. Know what you are playing. Um, just get in detail. Um, one example, um, I used to work on the uh, BB King cruise ships uh, some time ago, and the corporate director, Louis McKay, he was like, Hey man, go back and listen to the record. You playing it, but actually listen to the record. And it was less groove tonight. Mm -hmm. And you know, most guys just just you know just like boom, 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 boom. You know, you're holding that one. You know, just a little longer, so you know. Hey, study, and when you think you know it, go back and relearn it. Something, <laughs> something, you, something you missed. Yeah. You know, I do it all the time. Yeah. It's something I miss, and uh, definitely be prepared. Know the music. When it's your time to shine, get out there. Yeah. And then when it then go back to the go back to the background and, and, and play your job. Yeah. So now tonight you're here with saxophonist uh, Eric Darius. Yes. So <clears throat> how does it feel like when you come out, you guys come out and the the roar of the crowd, the the all the adulation, man. What's going through your body, man? What in your brain? What you thinking? Man, I'm. What I'm thinking is this is a great crowd. We're going. How we going? How are we going to basically leave it all on the stage tonight mm -hmm. in a different way? Every show is different, you know. Yeah, it's sometimes it may be the same repertoire, but every show is different. Every crowd is different, mm -hmm. and so we have the mindset to okay, we're gonna leave it on the stage. How are we gonna do it this time? Mm -hmm. You know, and I've uh, been been with Eric two years, man, and uh, that's my brother, great cat. I love him. He keeps me on my toes. He's not your quote unquote smooth jazz man. He plays everything. I mean everything and man we go out we just have a good time he knows he knows what to expect from me and uh i know what to expect from him so i put the personalities click and when we on stage it's, it's magic yeah so when he uh allow you to uh come out and just let go let you be free and let you take a solo or whatever 
what's going through your head? Are you are you piecing together uh, patterns in your head from previous your library, your musical library? Do you see like where your fingers going in your head? Do you see colors, creative? I see honestly. I see the people. Yeah. And so what I, you what you mean by these? You look at I their faces and they, at their faces and they can and tell you which way you want to go. And they can tell me which way I want to go. And I and I and I can, you know I, I read the crowd and I can tell you know okay, this is an old school crowd. So okay. You know, while I'm playing the solo, okay, let me throw an old school bass line. <laughs> get him, get him, be like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know. So I mean, that's that's honestly what's going through my head, and you know, then you know, if they're not dancing, if they're not, they're not up on their feet, I'm not doing my job. Yeah. You know, so if they're they on their feet, then hey, it's time to go to work. Yeah. Well, let me ask you this. So, like, when you're starting out. <clears throat> you you out grinding, man, with the band. It's five people in the club. Now you playing fifty thousand in a stadium. <laughs> Is it the same mindset, or, same or how do you mindset. now? But how do you maintain that? You know the the uh, I remember excitement. I, I remember when I started. You know, you know, you, you always hear this saying, "Never, you know, you never forget where you started from." That's a true statement for me because I remember um, playing two five people. Mm -hmm. You know, in a club. And you know, and making what fifty dollars? Yes, sir. Know? Yeah, oh yeah. You know, so it keeps me humble to know that hey, now you can play in front of fifty thousand, you know, or to a sold out, you know, amphitheater tonight like with Smooth Jazz Cruise Festival. <laughs> man, <laughs> yes, sir. Shout out, y'all did good. To a sold out people, and it's just like wow, you know, and it, and it just it just reminds me, it keeps me humble, mm -hmm. and I just you know just never get to that point where you quote unquote made it because no one. Has actually made it, you know. And right. even if you think you made it, they're still humble, you know. And it keeps me on my toes, and I'm just forever grateful because there was a time where, you know, that I was, you know, my phone was not ringing, to now my phone is steady ringing, you know. So I'm just truly grateful, you know, for the ride and and everything, you know. Yeah. Let me ask you this: So, <laughs> say you uh you got the Chris Snowden band, right? <laughs> so you need to hire a drummer, a guitar player, and a pianist. What attributes do you look for in those people to to mess with your character and what um, you bring to the table? Basically, their mindset, their mindset, their work ethic. You know, and so hold on. Is it a lot of lazy musicians? Straight up. Okay. Don't shoot the messages. <laughs> you know, because, you know, and um, it's nothing wrong, but you know when. when when we say lazy, is meaning like, you know, you get the gig and you don't prepare. You know, my thing is, and this is just, just me, if I say yes to your gig, that's a contract. You know, even though we have not signed anything, that's a contract. Mm -hmm. Because when I say, yeah, I can do your gig, I say yes. I can do your gig. Yes, I can learn the material. Yes, I can show up on time. Yes, I can dress the way you need me to dress. Yes, I can uh, play the record the way you want me to play it. And so you look for that. And when cats don't have it and all that, it's like, uh, you know, most just want the check, you know. But there's still a few out here, you know, that mm -hmm. still have that same worth ethic. Like, hey, every show matters, whether it's with a major artist or a minor artist, mm -hmm. every show shows matter so I look for that like how you treat the gig yeah we may be playing a corporate gig you know but I still see that as that tour you know that that mainstream number one artist that I'm playing for so that's what I look for yeah so what's up next for you big dog man uh Atlanta yeah with Eric Darius and uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to leak this out but I took the hit. Uh, going on tour with uh, Ruben Studdard. Uh, the whole East Coast, Midwest tour. Uh, matter of fact, I should be back in St. Louis. That's even better, big bro. <laughs> yes, sir. Next time we get some gobble stop and go down yeah, to the arch. Man. Did, didn't have time this time, but yeah. it's all. You know? So, yeah, that's next. Uh, that's next right now. Going on East Coast, Midwest tour for about two months. Yeah. And then um, back with Eric and a few more others. Uh, Kelly Price, 702, MC Light, Black Street. Uh, and you tell uh, MC Light I love her, man. I will. That's my girl there. <laughs> I will. 
But yeah, Chris, man, so uh, give your information, man, so cats can uh, network and connect with you, man, and you can tell them about, you know, life on tour, man. Definitely, man. You can follow me on Facebook at Chris Snowden. You can follow me on Instagram at Snowden Thumps. <laughs> uh, Snapchat, Chris Snowden. Twitter, Chris Snowden 91. Uh, MySpace, if it's still available. <laughs> Chris Snowden. And uh, check me out on the, uh, the new base mods. New base my artist. Uh, yes, sir. Chris Snowden uh, on the base my uh, basis page. You know, so that's cool, man. So proud of you, man, and happy for you. Hope uh, you. God continue to bless you, y'all. But uh, hey, Chris finna treat me to some chicken wings, y'all. So hey, y'all, we gonna let them roll, man. It's getting late in the loop, but this your boy Jay Ross, man. We ten million strong, and we gone. Peace. Peace.